In the last video, we thought about outputs, and the outputs inside the Mindstorms resource are those two different types of motor. In this video, we're going to be looking at inputs, and the inputs that we find inside the box are sensors. Let's have a look. Here we can see the range of sensors that come inside the Mindstorms resource. There are four different types of sensors. So let's start with this one here. You can see we have two of these. These are touch sensors. They behave like switches and they have three different states. So the states are pressed, released and bumped, which is a quick press and release. And depending on what we want to do, we can use these to trigger all sorts of different actions. So for example, we might bump a touch sensor to start our motors running. We might press a touch sensor, particularly good if we've built a base robot that might run into an obstacle and that touch might trigger a different action. Let's move on to this one here. This looks like a pair of eyes and they do light up red so they look pretty cool. But this is the ultrasonic sensor. So this responds to and recognizes both motion and also proximity. So for example, we could start a motor by moving towards our ultrasonic sensor, but we may also program our motors to respond to the proximity from the sensor to, for example, speed up or slow down. Let's move on to the color sensor. This looks like it's got a keyhole at the front here. And this actually has three different functions. This can recognize and respond to a range of different colors, but also changes in ambient light and reflected light intensity. In other words, the light that's bouncing off of an object and into the sensor. And lastly, we have the gyro sensor. This has got some arrows on the top and this is particularly useful if we want to recognize and get our robot that we've built to respond to changes in angle. So for example we could mount that on the top of a wheeled robot and when it turns a certain amount of degrees that might trigger a different action. So there we go, four different sensors very, very powerful, and we can do enormous amounts with them.